All right, so we're just gonna have a quick update today. We're working on the electronics for the exoskeleton. So Ian's gonna work on the buck boost converter. Let's take a look. So our battery, which is a six cell lithium polymer from Hobby King, uh, it's a bit too high a voltage, 23 volts, for some of the components, such as the uh, pneumatic valves. So we're gonna have to drop that down to 12 volts. And to do that, we have a buck boost converter. Um, these are available on Amazon, they're pretty cheap. There's a link in the des description. And they're pretty cool. You can adjust the voltage and the current with these little p potentiometers here. So I can drop that down or put it up. And it'll go anywhere from um, an input of 5 to 30 volts um, and boost that up or down. So you can put in 5 volts and output 30 volts if you want. Um, and I just have it connected to this electromagnet here. I'll show you the current as well. Oh, <laughs> wasn't enough. Put that back up. There you have it. All right, so we've installed a pressure regulator for the leg cylinders, and we finished off most of the electronics now. We have two main power switches. One's for 12 volts, which is the buck boost converter, which is hidden behind here, and the other's the main power for the battery pack. So we turn that on. The compressor turns on, and if we turn this one on, the fans spin up. All right, so that's about it for this update. Uh, we still have to wire the switches to actually control the solenoid valves for the, the uh, leg pneumatics, but it's coming along pretty good. Um, if you notice, the fans were really powerful last time we showed them. What we've done now is, since they're on the buck boost converter, they're running at the proper voltage, 12 volts, but then what we've also done is run them in series. So now each fan's only seeing 6 volts, and now it's much quieter, and it's still got pretty decent airflow. Still probably more than we need for cooling the air compressor. So, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next update.